Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to burn ISO files to DVD using Wondershare Unit Converter. With Wondershare Unit Converter you can burn an ISO file that resides on your computer to a physical DVD. All you need to do to get this done is insert a blank DVD and have a DVD burner. Not only this, Wondershare also has other ways you can burn your DVD if this is not an option. So let's go ahead and go over the steps required. Step 1 is to load our ISO files into Unit Converter. To do this we'll need to launch the program and then go down to the DVD burner section. From here we can hit the drop down next to the disk and select load ISO files. Then I can select my ISO file and choose whether I want just the main movie or all the movies like the menus and such and hit OK. Then step 2 is to pick a DVD template to burn this with. So we can scroll through here and see different options and then we can also hit the edit button to view every single option and template available and then go in further and add custom background pictures or custom background music if you wish. Step 3 is to configure our DVD settings. First we can choose whether or not we want a menu or no menu. We can also select a custom aspect ratio like 4.3 or 16 by 9. If you have a certain TV standard you need, you can change it to PAL or NTSC. And finally, there are a few quality presets to help things fit to disk or keep the highest quality possible. Step 4 is to burn our ISO files to our DVD. So down here you'll want to select what kind of DVD you're using based on the size, whether it's a regular DVD, a double-sided DVD, a Blu-ray, or a double-sided Blu-ray. Up here as well you can select where you want to burn to, and if you have a burner plugged in, you can select the drive where that's located, and if you want to you can also have the option to burn to an ISO file or a DVD folder. And finally just hit the burn button to begin the process, and you'll begin burning your DVD with whatever media you selected. And once it's complete you can choose got it to close it or open the folder to open up where it's been saved to. And that's going to do it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed. That's how to burn ISO files to a DVD using Wondershare Unit Converter.